work essentials, two things. Not all of these are gonna be essentials. I just liked that for a video title. Some items I'm gonna talk about, I just think are nice to have and make the workday go a little bit smoother. The other thing is, I know we all have very different jobs. For the first part of my 20s, I worked at a huge company as an administrative assistant. And then for the past few years, I worked for a very small company as a marketing coordinator. So everything you're hearing today is coming from the perspective of somebody with an office job for almost 10 years. And I know there are doctors, graphic designers, people who work from home, people who work from Starbucks. So I know not everything is gonna be applicable, but I hope that everyone who's watching can find something helpful and useful to take away. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my number one work essential, and that is a functional work bag. Now I already have a what's in my work bag video up on my channel, and nothing on the inside has changed, so I'll put a link to that and a card up above. But if you watch that video, I wasn't happy with my current work bag. It was falling apart and just not looking great. So many of you guys left recommendations and one brand that came up again and again was Dagny Dover. They very kindly sent me one of their bags. I could not be happier. It is so beautiful. This is the 13 inch. It comes in one size larger, but this fits a 13 inch laptop, which is what I have. It's coated canvas and it feels really durable. And I know you guys like organization and I think this bag is the organizer's dream. There's just a pouch for everything. It has space for my 13 inch laptop, my tablet, a designated water umbrella spot. I put my planner in here, my makeup pouch, and then there's just tons of little pockets and compartments, which is fantastic. I also really like the handles. I think they're a good size. You can hold it. I usually put it kind of carried on my elbow, but you can also put it on your shoulder. The bag itself isn't that heavy. I think it's around three pounds. Of course, I do kind of load it down. And I don't know, my my laptop, I have an older MacBook, the one before the Retina, and that, that thing, which I'm using it to film. It is pretty heavy, but I still, I think it's really, really comfortable to carry. And I think it's beautiful. I dress a little bit more casually at work, but I think even if you had to wear a suit every day that this bag is just beautiful. Some mornings I pop out of bed like a daisy. I journal and make a smoothie and watch the sunrise. Other mornings, it feels almost physically painful to pull myself out of bed. So on mornings like those, if you still want to get out the door on time and feel polished, I think it's really important to have a go-to makeup look and outfit. And for my go-to makeup look, that is the last video that I uploaded. I could do that with my eyes closed. I don't have to think about it. I know exactly what products I'm gonna reach for and I know how they're going to perform. So I will put a link to that if you wanna watch that. But I also think it's really important to have a go-to outfit. On mornings when I'm in a rush or feeling uninspired, I don't wanna have to go into my closet and recreate the wheel and try to put together a new outfit. So I make myself a little uniform and on mornings like those, I usually reach for a utility blouse from Loft. They come out with them every season and I have them in patterns, I have them in solid colors. They're just nice because they do have the collar and button down look, they just seem a little bit more professional. And they bring them out every season. Actually this season they came out with a collarless option with which is what I'm wearing right now and it's also tunic length with, which I think is really cute. So these are just nice and again I don't have to think much about them and I usually wear them with dark jeans or black jeans and then flats. My current flats, I get, I've get. i gotten so many compliments on these from people who normally never, never even care what I'm wearing. They're from DSW and they're the brand Restricted. And this is the first pair I bought. So they are dual color, tan on the toe and then black on the bottom. They are so comfortable. I had a coupon, so I got them for around $25, but I think even at full price, they're only 34. So they're still a really good deal. Very comfortable, I like these so much that I ended up getting them in just the solid black. And this pair looks amazing with black tights and dresses. For the past three nights, I've had an event to go to, been up on my feet a little bit more than normal, and I wore these. And my feet felt very happy the entire time. So that's what I normally wear, but I also like to have outfits that make me feel really confident. And for me, that's dresses. The event that I've been going to for the past three days, I wore a dress every time and I felt really good. I had two a-line dresses and a shirt dress. And I think the day I wore a shirt dress, I posted it to Instagram. So I'll put that on the screen so you can see, but I felt really good. And I think you have to find that for yourself. Maybe for me, it's dresses, for you, it's a suit, whatever. And just know on Sundays when I'm looking at my planner and I'm thinking ahead for the week, if I see I have an event and I know there's a certain outfit, a certain dress I wanna wear, I make sure I have it washed or dry clean or whatever. So just always thinking ahead. 
I think it's safe to say that a lot of us spend a lot of the day looking at screens. I can say for myself, I spend at least half the day between my computer, tablet, and phone, and all that screen time causes strain on your eyes, and for me, it causes fatigue and headaches. So for the past year or so, I've been using computer glasses, and I think they're fantastic. My first pair, they were not very cute, and they had almost a yellow tint to the lenses, and they kind of made my whole face look sallow. So when anybody would walk in, I would feel like I had to take them off. And then one day on Pinterest, I saw an ad for a brand called iBuyDirect. It's a website and they have, I think the technical name is Digital Protection Lenses. The, com the glasses are called iZen and what's fantastic is that they're actually pretty cute. So they have a slight reading enhancement at the bottom so when you're looking down at your phone it's stopping your eyes from straining and then it's filtering the blue light. I don't know if you can see that but I think they're adorable and I don't know, I don't feel like I ever have to take them off when I'm at work and on days when I'm editing pictures or creating an ad and I'm just staring at my screen for hours at a time, I get much less headaches than I used to. So I think these are really awesome. You can add, if you have a prescription, you can add those to these. Mallory, Malpals, I always forget what her the numbers are. I think it's 1712. She really likes this brand. I buy direct. I think she just buys the regular glasses and she has a coupon code and I'll look to see if her coupon code works on the iZen line. And if it does, I'll put a link to it down below. Next, I have two tech things. And the first is a case of do as I say, not as I do, which is terrible. And I should take my own advice because I know just how bad it is for you when you sit for long periods of time without getting up and moving. And if you struggle with that too, two recommendations. There's an app, it's free. It's called Stand Up The Workplace break reminder, something like that. I'll put a link to it down below. And I used to use that. You would just set parameters and it would buzz you once an hour. Now my Fitbit does the same exact thing. If I haven't moved for the entire hour, I think 10 minutes till the next hour, it buzzes and says, get up, walk at least 250 steps. That's the least you can do. So if you struggle with getting up and moving, those are two things you can do. And I, that is just something I'm always working on. The other tech thing I'm really excited about because I think a lot of you guys own these too. I mentioned wanting them in a video and I got so many comments saying how fantastic they are. They are the Studio Sweden wireless earbuds wireless it's so fantastic and they're also it doesn't hurt that they're very pretty i chose the white and rose gold ones so they're wireless they work through bluetooth and you have to charge them and one charge lasts about eight hours which is perfect and the bluetooth range is 30 feet i haven't tested that out for myself but it works perfect for me because my printer and scanner is not in my office i have to walk out and down the hall just a little bit and it's so nice not to be tied to my phone or computer and they're very lightweight they even come with a little clip so you can clip them to your shirt and just pull them out if somebody comes in and wants to talk and i think the sound quality is awesome and i would have i would have a really hard time not having earbuds at work i listen to a lot of podcasts and a lot of audiobooks and this video is not sponsored by audible i've never been approached by them at all but i honestly could be their spokesperson years ago my first job was like 90 percent data entry and it started out as a summer thing, but when it became more permanent, I had to do something and I started downloading audiobooks off of iTunes. It was very expensive and I used to come in at the same time with this one guy. Somehow we got on the topic and he told me about Audible and this was even before it was owned by Amazon. And I would put it off, but he would always ask me about it. So I finally downloaded it and got an account. Fast forward to today, I've listened to well over 200 audiobooks. And when people ask me how I get so much reading done, I always have to say that because I get a lot done while I'm driving, cleaning, cooking, doing laundry, things like that. You just get a lot done. And my favorite work afternoon is doing something like editing photos. And I put on an audiobook and I just get in the zone. And I just feel like I get a lot done, but it also feels kind of fun because you're getting a little bit of entertainment. And the audiobooks I usually listen to are longer. I think my first one ever was Duma Key by Stephen King. But like the Outlander series, things that would take me a long time to get to if I was reading the physical book. So I don't know if that's what I do. And if you're ever curious about what I'm reading, I always put my Goodreads link down below so we can be friends there too. I'm very affected by scent and I love to use uplifting smells, especially essential oils at work. But you have to be careful. You don't want to offend anybody, offend an office mate or give anybody a sneezing fit. So I have found a couple ways to, I don't know what the right word is, covertly diffuse. Let's go with that. But I'll tell you a couple of my favorite oils first. 
Peppermint, Motivate, Elevation, and Citrus Bliss. Citrus Bliss is my all-time favorite essential oil. These are all from doTERRA. That's how I was introduced to essential oils, but I have been looking into another brand. It's a little bit less expensive. It's called Eden's Garden. The reviews I've read so far have been really great, but if you have any experience with that brand, let me know what you think. My favorite way to diffuse at work is actually with a piece of jewelry. I've talked about this in a travel video in the past, but these three little beads are lava beads, and I take a single drop of whatever essential oil I want to use and rub it across the beads, and the smell lasts for almost a full two days, which is great, and it's not overpowering at all. Just every once in a while, I'll just bring my wrist up to my nose and inhale deeply, and I'm getting, I do get a little bit of energy, which I think is fantastic. And this is from an Etsy shop. If you're not into bracelets, they also do necklaces and rings. I think it's a really cool Etsy shop, so I'll put a link to that down below. And then I used to spend over two hours a day in the car, and to power through that commute, one thing that really helped is this little guy. He is a cup holder diffuser, and even though he looks small, he is very, very powerful. You only need a couple drops of essential oil. He plugs right into your car, but he also has a couple different you can plug them into the wall or into your computer. And now that my commute is a lot less, a lot of times I'll bring him in from the car and on a day I work from home, I work from home one day a week, I'll set him on my desk and plug it right into my computer and then I'm getting all of that lovely smell, whatever essential oil I decide to use. I don't think I mentioned this, but I have been numbering these. There are 10 work essentials and we're up to number nine, which is a planning system. This is so important and I do a lot of planner videos and when I do those videos, I get comments saying, I love paper planning, I hate paper planning, I do everything on the computer, I love Google Calendar, whatever. You just have to find something that works for you. And for me, it's a combination of the both. This has my life in it. It is an A5 binder. I moved back into my nude file effects because I think this looks like my most professional. But I use Inkwell Press A5 inserts inside. Every meeting, every appointment, every thought to-do list is all here in one space. So I just know that if I get it down here, it's not going anywhere. But I also have to use Outlook for work for meeting invites, and I do a lot of task organization in Outlook. And if I think back to the most organized I've ever been in my life, it was under one boss who was really into David Allen's getting things done. She had all these handouts about how to use his method in Outlook, and I, I just couldn't remember them. And I just was thinking about it the other day that I really enjoyed that system. So I bought this book. I've kind of skimmed through her copy a few years ago, but I'm going to slowly and meticulously read through it. It's a little bit dry. But if you're looking for a revamp or you're starting from the beginning, I think this is a great place to start. And I'll put a link to all my other planner videos down below. I thought we'd end with something fun and lighthearted. We spend a lot of time at work. And in the past, I've had some beautiful offices. My favorite had windows on both sides and I shared it with my best friend at work. I've also had some very bad offices, dark and smelled a little bit funny. Right now I'm in a weird limbo. I don't have my actual desk. So I'm just sitting somewhere temporarily. So little things that I can bring that make it feel a little bit more homey. My favorite accessory is actually my laptop case. I would hold it up, but I'm using it to film. So I'll do a cutaway so you can see it. I saw Tanya from Inkwell Press post about it on Instagram quite a while ago, and I thought about it for a long time, and I ended up ordering it off of Etsy, and I just love it. It makes me so happy. But you could do something as simple as bring a mug that you really like and use that instead of the chipped one at work, hang up a pretty calendar, or use a really cute desk pad. If you want something a little bit more understated, I always use this notebook in work meetings, and it just has a little notepad in here, but it has this really cute lining, and I sometimes stick business cards in here. That is all I have for you today, but I would love so much if you would leave your own work essentials down below. I know there's so many things I didn't even touch on. I didn't even talk about my snack drawer, which I take very seriously, but I would love to know what's important to you, and I'll be back next week with my, I think it's gonna be my September favorites, which I have some good things to share. But thank you so much for watching today, and I'll be back very soon. Bye.